Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of On The Avenue. If you've been around Wheeler long enough, you might have heard Pastor Cosby mention how we are intentionally intergenerational. Well today, and also a little later in the season, we are shining light on the children of our church. Okay, everyone, I am here at WACA with Miss Melissa Hamilton. Could you please tell us your position at WACA? Sure. I am the Director of Operations here at the school. Um, Director of Operations is pretty much equivalent to a principal okay. at other schools. We, okay. we oversee everything. We make sure that all the children are safe, the school's safe, the staff is safe, parents are happy. Um, a lot. Yeah. yeah, a lot. But it is a lot. It is a lot, but it, it is a lot. But you know, I'm I'm grateful for the opportunity, and I'm thankful okay. to be here. I love that. Okay, could you tell us a little bit about the academy? And we're going to sure. take a walk just to show you all like what the facility looks like. Sure, sure, sure. So we provide care for children who are um, ages um, six weeks to five years old. Okay. okay. So we get them as little bitty people, and we're able to nurture them and um, develop them, see them grow, mm -hmm. and and grow with the families. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you were telling me a few days ago, because we spoke earlier, mm -hmm. and you were saying that you were reintroducing kinder back into the school. Yes, 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 we are, we are very excited. Um, we have not had kindergarten here since, whoa, maybe 2017. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so that's what, almost eight years ago? And when did you say Six you... Six years ago, excuse me. That's okay. When did you say you became director? I became director in 2017. 2017, mm -hmm. okay. 2017. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you expand on the history of WACA? So it started off as an infant school mm -hmm. and then it kind of merged into something else. What is that about? Yeah, so in 1967, around 1967, okay. um, Mrs. Audrey Lawson, mm -hmm. um, she was the wife of our um, past former, our founder, mm -hmm. um, Pastor Emeritus William A. Lawson. Mm -hmm. Um, she, Allie Mitchell, and Miss um, Burns mm -hmm. uh, founded the school, founded the infant school. Um, and it was one of the first in the community. Um, so the school was around for a very long time. Mm -hmm. When Pastor Cosby became the um, pastor, senior pastor of the church, mm -hmm. his vision was to have a school that provided care for children all the way up to 12th grade. Mm -hmm. So between his vision and the infant school, well, though, that his vision and the infant school merged. Yeah. And Wheeler Avenue Christian Academy was born. Came about, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that you've told us about the history of how Waka came about, mm -hmm. could you tell me about your journey of becoming Director of Operations? Sure. Um, so in December of 2012, um, Mrs. Ada Carr was asked by Pastor Cosby to become the, di the Executive Director of Waka. Mm -hmm. um, and so she, her, the only one thing that she asked was that I come to be her administrative assistant. Did y'all uh, y'all knew each other before? Yes. Okay. So I've grown up at Wheeler. Oh, so okay, I've, right. been, I've been at Wheeler all my life, and Mrs. Carr um, was a deaconess at at Wheeler Avenue. Um, so I've I've known her since I was a you know small child. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, so Pastor Cosby asked her to come um, be the executive director. She asked that I come with her to be her admin, mm -hmm. and Pastor Cosby agreed, and here I am. Um, about a year and a half after Mrs. Carr um, was a director here, she um, her health declined. Mm -hmm. So she took a step back and asked one of her really good friends from the Pasadena Independent School District mm -hmm. to come and be the interim director. Um, he also agreed to come, and so he served here um, for me for about seven, eight months. Okay. And then after he left, um, Mrs. Melanie Singleton uh, became the executive director. Okay. Mrs. Singleton was here for a while, and then once she left, then that is when my role changed, okay. and that is when I became the director. Okay. Do mm -hmm. you have an assistant currently? I currently do not have okay. an assistant. Um, I just have about ten hands. Yeah. So, yeah. It takes a lot. <laughs> it, it takes, takes a lot. A lot to run. Yeah. Okay. Now it started. So Wheeler started, or Walka started as an infant school, mm -hmm. and then it merged into what it is today. Mm -hmm. How often is it that you get an alumni of that infant school to come and contribute to Waka so, in any way or shape and form? So quite often, but probably not the alumni that you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. So we don't we don't have adults who return. Mm -hmm. We have children who return. Oh, that's so, so sweet. So yes, we have children <laughs> who are now in elementary school or middle school who <laughs> who come and they want to help out. Just another day at Waka. Yes, just another day that's at Waka. That's okay. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so we have, we have children who, who return and they, they want to help out. They want to run errands for me um, from the office. Oh, I love they, that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling to, to see children return and to see where they are yeah. at, that, at this point in their lives. Yeah, I love that. I'm happy you get to experience that oh, too. Yeah, yeah. So what does a normal day look like for you if you could just... Well, the running that you just saw, <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's a normal day, no. Um, a normal day, um, I, like to, I like to say that we are not a daycare. Mm -hmm. We are an early childhood facility mm -hmm. uh, because our children are learning yeah. from the infants to our pre-k four students they are here learning every day there are there's a curriculum um, they there's no babysitting that's being done yeah. and um, it's 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 wonderful when parents pick up their children in, and I'm here to greet them and they're they, you know they tell me oh my gosh you know I did not know that you know my child was doing X Y and Z or oh my gosh yeah. uh, you all send real homework home yeah. um, and, and it, it might be probably a little tedious or a little inconvenient for the parents, um, but I want them to know that when you send your children here, yes, we're going to love them, we're going to nurture them, we're going to rock them, we're going to play with them, we're going to give them plenty of hugs, mm -hmm. but I also want them to know that they are going to receive their Christian foundation, yeah. they are going to know um, how to read when they leave here. Um, or at least be introduced to reading before they leave here, or right. the, basic, the, found, the basics that they need um, to be able to be successful whenever they leave here, whatever yeah. school they go to. Yeah, and we always like to say at Wheeler Avenue, excellence is not the goal, it's the standard. It's the standard. And I see that that's the value here too. Absolutely, Yeah. absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. and if you could, top two things, your favorite part about your job. So that's easy. Um, there is nothing more rewarding than to um, have a child who starts here as an infant mm -hmm and they leave here um, heading to their next step um, in life and just the growth during that process to be able to see them to be able to see the children grow um, it's amazing yeah. because they are they you see their you see their personalities blossom yeah. you you oh you're getting teary eyed about yeah, it yeah I, I am <laughs> I am because I get emotional about it because when I walk through the doors here this is not just work. Yeah, I'm, I'm passionate about the children. It's your purpose. This is my purpose. Yeah. This is my purpose. And um, you asked what the second thing was that um, the most rewarding thing, seeing the small deposits mm -hmm. that I'm able to place in the children's lives, yeah. um, knowing that those become large deposits. Yeah, absolutely. That is, that is, um, the most rewarding thing, one of the most rewarding things for me. Mm -hmm. um, I want all the children here to know that they are loved. Mm -hmm. They are loved, no matter what happens at home. Yeah. Um, when they're here, they are loved, they are our babies, and I want them to feel comfortable. I want parents to feel comfortable, and I think that has a lot to do, or that contributes to the success of the school, Absolutely. because um, when you walk through our doors, you're not visitors, you are family. So. Yeah. Well, this is someone that you want <laughs> looking after your kids. Let me tell you, she's really passionate about what she does and it is your purpose and you're yeah. walking in your purpose. I just want to reaffirm you, you on that. Thank you, thank you. Now we get to speak with a parent of an alumni of a Waka student, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay. then she also has a student who is currently here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to learn a little bit more about Waka. Um, just stay tuned, okay? <laughs> Okay, everyone, so I'm sitting with an actual Waka parent. I know, it's really cool, right? <laughs> we are here with Miss Kaylin. You have two students here, right? I have one currently. One currently, one but you- One previous, correct. One previously, okay, great. All right. So how long ago did your student attend Waka? So my oldest started Waka in 2017, um, three months after I delivered, and she stayed at Waka throughout her entire time through pre-K four, mm -hmm. and now she's in kindergarten. What did you consider when choosing schools for your students to attend? And what attracted you to Waka specifically? Right, so as a new mom, you're searching for the perfect school for your child. And I had a list long, and my husband was like, this list is way too long. <laughs> but we went to every single school. We toured every single school. We talked to the director. Um, immediately what I would say 
what made Waka stand out mm-hmm. is the feeling of love um, and kindness and generosity and attention mm-hmm. that they were devoting to the kids. When I came, Miss Hamilton told me I could come at any time um, to come and tour. We scheduled our appointment mm-hmm. and she made us feel so welcome. She let us tour the classes. She let us meet teachers. Um, and that just made us feel so comfortable. Yeah. Not to mention, they have a great curriculum. Um, if you want your child to be surrounded by an environment that's a godly environment mm-hmm. where they're learning about God, um, but also learning math, science. Um, our daughter, who's in kindergarten, she was ahead of most of the kids in her kindergarten class wow. because of WACA, yeah. you know, on sight words and just being able to do addition and subtraction. There's lots of kids that are her age in that class that were not exposed to those things. Waka has some bragging rights. They do. do. (laughs) I agree. In what ways do you think your children have developed since being here at Waka? I know you mentioned they're ahead of your older Mm -hmm. one is ahead of her class with reading, but socially, um, Waka provides also um, resources outside of Waka. For example, dance or soccer or uh, currently, you know, instruments Mm -hmm. now, and it allows them to just have different exposures. And I know you mentioned that you love how um, family environment yeah. it, that it is really and how passionate and loving mm-hmm. and people actually care that work here. But mm-hmm. what is another notable thing um, that you're most proud of with Waka? Sustainability. Yeah. I feel like I, you know, to be at a school with one child and another child yeah. that's currently in pre-K three and to feel the same way I did wow. when my first child started, you can't get that in any other environment. I have friends that They have a child in a school for one year and they're ready to look someplace else. Mm -hmm. I've never felt that way. Even during the pandemic, Ms. Hamilton communicated consistently. I always knew that as soon as Waka opened, Mm -hmm. my kids were coming back to Waka. Yeah, wow, I love that. If there is a parent watching this right now and they are considering Wheeler Avenue Christian Academy, what is one thing that you want them to know? If you're looking for an environment where your child will thrive and you will be comfortable and you will also thrive, Waka is the place for you to be. I can never say this enough. The family environment, not only from the teachers and Miss Hamilton, but the parents. You, I mean, you cannot get this anyplace else. Yeah. You get to know parents. I still have play dates. My kids still have play dates with parents and kids who were at Waka with mm-hmm. them. And you just can't beat this environment. And you know that your children are around others who are like-minded. Yeah, absolutely. Right? So they're coming home and they're singing Bible songs to you. They're coming home and they they know scripture. And you're teaching them that at home. But it's great that every single day they're in an environment where they're learning this also. On top of addition, subtraction, they have projects. Um, our kids have homework. Mm. I will say, you know, Waka, a lot of parents will say that's a lot of homework, but <laughs> they are preparing your kids for 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 kindergarten yeah. and for life. Right. And I appreciate that discipline. It's it's hard to get kids to be disciplined to come home and do homework and to continue to learn and have fun. Yeah. And Waka makes it fun. Oh, I love that. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. And I'm happy that you're having a really good experience. Um, I hope you do have another child so you can bring another one in and have an even more amazing experience. And I actually kind of want to go back to school just so I can, you know, to walk a little bit and get a little knowledge here. But thank you again for joining thank you. me. Thank and you. thank you all so much for watching and tuning in. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Wheeler Avenue BC. And I will see you next time on The Avenue. Bye, y'all.